get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. TV in association with Macri's Gym. Bad. With me, I've got Callum Smith. That's really off putting. Did that off put you, that? No, it's not. You're, you're watching the yeah. fights, aren't you? Um, with Callum Smith after his seventh round win off the test party. How, how do you sort of assess that, Cal? Um, yeah, it was good. It was good to get some rounds in. Obviously, still stuff I need to work on, but other stuff that I have been working on come into play tonight. So, mm -hmm. not as good and bad to take from it, which you have in every fight. I mean, but it was good to. I'll get some rounds in and all the pack crowds, so it's good to be a part of a good show. Reputation for blowing people out early. Sometimes it can go against you where people are expecting you to go out and blitz these guys out early. Do you feel pressure to sort of to live up to that expectation? Yeah. Not really, but then when I'm in there, if once I am in round three and four, I do start thinking, well, I wonder if you know, people are thinking this is boring or whatever, but then I've been working on jo with Joe in the gym on keeping it boring, jab, jab, don't always feel I have to go in and try and finish the show so no, I was doing that but then when I was time to keep it bored and I was getting bored doing it so I still need to work on it but no, it is something that I am adding to my game and something that I will benefit from. You seem to be progressing at a great rate you're obviously mandatory to face Badu Jack for that WBC title is it frustrating to be yourself that the fight hasn't been sort of pushed and made that little bit sooner than, than what it seems to be? Yeah um, I was with you in, in Dallas I remember saying I wasn't it wasn't frustrating because I kind of expect them to mm. you know, want to fight each other so I sort of had to be back in my mind I wasn't going to fight and next going to have to wait but then now it took so long and people were saying are you going to fight, are you going to fight, it is getting a bit frustrating you know, if they're going to fight to study it and make it so then I can you know, do what I need to do and fight in the meantime or if they're not going to then you know, I'd like to fight with do Jack, Jack next, I feel like I'm beating on I think I need a bit of a challenge, a bit of fear factor in my training and stuff and you know, what more than a world title fight with you Jack, I feel, I feel I've got to beat him up, he's a good fighter but you know, I believe so am I, so I would like to get it all cleared up pretty soon, hopefully we will in the next couple of weeks know whether they're going to fight or not. Where does that leave you with sort of your domestic commitments and the likes of Blackledge, can you get your mind focusing on that or is it a case of looking at the big lights and thinking of, of the world title shot? No, obviously if I get off with Jack next, that's the fight I want. If he fights the girl, then I'll fight in the meantime. I'm not black, black, I just managed to defend British title. I'm still British champion. A lot of people keep forgetting that and you know, thinking, oh, he'll vacate the shoot. I'm British champion and I'll defend it if I have to, if I haven't got a world title fight. So, But that's just what I'd like to know myself who I'm fighting next, whether it's going to be a defense to be British or anyone else, or if it's going to be a world title fight. So hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll know a lot more. We had Mayweather on IFL TV the other day and he said he, he's looking for a big fight for Badu Jack, potentially maybe that unification fight, but if that doesn't happen, do you think, do you think there's money in, in the budget to get to try and entice Badu Jack over here and put on a big a big night's card? I don't know, to be honest, because I don't know what, what he paid or whatever. I, I was at his fight in Washington and it wasn't the biggest sell, to be honest with you, so I don't know. I'll see you later, John. Yeah, so I don't know how big a draw he is over there. I think there was two world title fights and it wasn't the biggest attendance, but you know, they put an English fella against the uh, Mexican and a Swedish fella based in Vegas against the Romanian based in Canada and put it in Washington. Never you would have thought with it being two super middleweights, so it might have had some sort of draw. Yeah, you know if you mean? put two world title fights in the one weight division over here in the big show, then mm. it sells over there, it didn't. so. I don't know what the demand is for him over there. If it isn't, then maybe you could get him over here. But either way, I'm not too fussed. He's based in Vegas, so if I have to go for you know, Vegas and fight for the WBC world title, that's what you know, people dream of as a kid. So if I can get him over here, that's good. But if I go over there, then you know, I'd, probably, I'd probably prefer that, to be honest with you. So either way, I just, I just like to be given the opportunity to fight him. Like I said, I believe I'm good enough to do it. I just need the chance to do it. Brother Liam goes over to defend against Sol Canelo Alvarez in Dallas massive occasion. How, how has the mood been like in the Smith household? Good. Um, I think Liam said himself he, he needed that fear factor to get himself going. I think with no disrespect his last few, few defences he always knew you know, a half performance will get him through it and 
know what I think he needed that chance really knows if he, he doesn't perform there's a chance he'll lose and I think he's got that now and you know, people are writing him off but everyone who knows him who's seen him up close are the ones who are giving him a chance I just don't think anyone's seen the best of him unless you've been up close with him in the gym and you know, we believe he's good enough to do it and you know, I think there'll be a lot of people shocked next week have you got any worries about going out there and Joe Gilligan said he wants to make sure that Liam and, and Sol Killer Alvarez get a fair shake out there. Have you got any sort of worries about that? Yeah, not really because you know, it does happen but you never think it'll happen to you. It's just one of the things you never go into a fight thinking oh, I, might, I might get robbed here or I might get stitched up. If you do enough to win the fight you'll believe you get the decision. You never believe it'll happen to you and I think Liam's not the same. If he goes over there and you know, performs the way he can and wins the fight he believes he get the decision. If he doesn't, then you know, I think the whole world are watching anyway, so you know, we'll come out to win it anyway, but he's just got to go there and perform the way he knows he can, and all you know, the rest is out of his hands. No doubt you, you've seen Liam dream about this moment and getting, getting to a point to fight someone who is he's probably a future icon, to be honest, in boxing, if Sulkin and Alvarez keeps going the way he's going. What, yeah. what does it mean to Liam to get this opportunity? Yeah, it's massive to be for Liam Pearson, he's massive for the family. Oh, we've had a good boxing career and you know, what better than see one, you know, one of the family fighting on you know, the biggest stage of all. He's fighting probably the biggest name in boxing at the moment now, Canelo, probably the most marketable and you know, he's a two-way world champion. And he's going in there as the defending champion. He's just been given a shot out of nowhere. He is, he, Liam is the world champion in the fight and you know, he's earned the right to be in there. So you know, we give him every chance in the world coming home with his own title. <coughs> Wish Liam the best of luck. Cougar will be out there next week, so do if you're out there, no doubt, do give him yeah, a bit of your time and um, give Liam our regards and hopefully he goes out there and does the business. Uh, thanks a lot, James. Thanks, Carl. Thank you. Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre match football accumulators with four or more selections, and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now.